poopy. Wow. Poo da poopy da poopy. Hey guys, Lexi here, and well, of course, I'm with my main man, Hunter, and my cutie patootie, little poopy, Foxy. We're just in beautiful San Francisco, headed to a coffee shop called Hedge Coffee. This coffee shop was recommended to us by our good friend, David Buer. Let's get Lexi, a resident coffee expert. And he told me to check out Hedge Coffee, and I told him he needs to check out Coffee Movement. I actually like crave Coffee Movement's coffee in the morning now. Yeah, it's, it's so good. But I am excited to check out Hedge Coffee, and their whole aesthetic seems super cool, very minimalist, very raw. So I'm excited to try out their stuff, and it looks like their menu too for food, because I am starving. It looks pretty awesome as well. They have these raspberry, I think, I think they're raspberry, strawberry waffles. They I'm look so bomb. Hungry. I'm so it's like hungry. o'clock on Sunday. They seem to have like this outdoor dining situation happening. So Hedge Coffee, here we come. I'm excited to try. Yeah. All right, guys, here we are sitting in their outdoor. Hunter got his drip, I got a nice latte, and we got the waffles. So, the drip, it's like a classic cup of coffee. It has a very kind of a nutty, a walnutty flavor but it's very crisp not very fruity not very floral and I'm not really one that's like a big fan of like nutty chocolatey campfirey typically like it's good cup but like this is like the higher version of that like it's just super an crisp elevated, it's an elevated crisp clean elevated nutty, everyday nutty. coffee yeah there you go. have a little taste very clean tasting there's no funk there's no bitterness and to do like the woody nutty flavor with no funk or bitterness means it's like it's, it's a really really good cup means chef's kiss so I would give it like a 10. How as many far chefs like, kiss? 10 chefs kiss? Well, no, like out a, of 10, 10 out of 10. Kiss. I can't really discredit it because it's not the style of coffee that I like. Like I like floral, fruitier, lighter coffees. But if you are like one of those, pe most people, a lot of people like like the chocolate or like coffee coffees. You know, you could throw cream in here. It's going to go really well. I think so. Yeah. It's a 10 out of 10. Because I'm not like a cream. Can we call you with that? <laughs> yeah, 10 out of 10. Quote it. Okay, so we just met the owner in the roaster and he's so nice, so delightful. He was out here just like sweeping and cleaning up. And, and by the way, he gave Foxy a treat when we first got yeah, here. Yeah, so hospitality, on point. Foxy Pence, not so on point. <laughs> well, she's excited, she's on point. Don't listen to her. <laughs> How are they have the... a little waffle, it's delicious. Here's the ice latte. Got some blueberry. Foxy. So we actually got a little bit of story of how he like roasted and stuff. And so, but this is apparently a Guatemalan and it's not named after the farm, this coffee, this particular coffee, because the farm has this great waterfall and I guess it gets a lot of moisture. And so it's called the Cascade or Cascada, La Cascada, which to me is probably the Cascade of Waterfall. So it's a cool little story. And like he decided like this wasn't really a light coffee. So he, you know, I, I'm not like the master of the roast, but it was cool to hear his story and how he wanted to bring out the best of what this coffee had. And I, and I could taste that. Like I'm a, I taste a lot of coffee. I haven't made a lot of coffee. I thought I was just ordering an espresso with like a side of tonic, but I think I ordered a espresso tonic. And Alexis loves it. It's so delicious. <laughs> really? Whoa. I didn't know we were doing a coffee review today, so I've already had a pot of coffee before it came. <laughs> I like their ice cubes. What, Very what, cool. what do you taste in here? It's um. It's kind of well, like they a, threw a lime in here. A lime. So there's a citrus flavor for sure. But I like the tonic. I'm a huge fan of carbonation, so I like the tonic in there. I don't know why I don't ask for that more often. It really is refreshing. I'm into it. Kind of like the Fantazzle. I'm loving this one. Let me taste the latte though. I haven't been. I'm not. I haven't been drinking that many lattes lately. I do love their like one big square ice cube. Ooh, this latte is nice. Yeah, the latte is nice. Hey, so you can't hedge, have any coffee, Hedge, bro. hospitality, you can't have any coffee. 10 can't out of 10. Any coffee? Oh yeah, do it do, the dirt. I don't know, what do you taste? You don't taste anything different? It tastes no. the same? Yeah, not as woody as before. <sighs> Too hungry. Try again, try again, try again. I need this waffle in my mouth, in my stomach, ASAP. Yeah, it's kind of bright. <laughs> yeah. Deliciousness. Mm. The waffle's great, huh? The waffle is delicious. The poopy. Wow. The poopy, the poopy. Do you want a waffle? What are you doing, Fox? 
Do you want a waffle? She's just so excited to be out. This coffee review has now turned into a foxy She's video. She's definitely hot. All right, taste the coffee, taste the coffee. Come on. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know. Okay, never mind. I, I put a blueberry in. <laughs> If you watched my stories, you heard the story of the blueberry, and there's blueberries on these pancakes, so I was like, let me try. I mean, we already tasted it the right way. So today, I'm just eating blueberries, enjoying my coffee, watching the magic stream, having a good time. One of the blueberries slips through my hands and drops into my coffee. It made it way better. But I don't know if it's a coincidence, but I thought you'd like to know. I think it, and she said it's not as woody. It adds a little bit of a like. Maybe you're onto something with fruit in the coffee. Just one blueberry. <laughs> Just okay. one. If you add more, it's too much. But like, it subtly took a little bit of the woodiness out. I think it was better without the blueberry, to be honest, though. I might have ruined the coffee, but I don't know. It still tastes good to me. Does it taste good to you still? I'm loving this one. Which, I don't know which one this is, but. The lime citrus espresso tonic. I just devoured the rest of my waffle. That's how good it was. So Everyone talked about them and they're delicious. It's like kind of a small waffle, so you don't feel guilty and you don't feel bad about mm -hmm. eating it because it's like, it's just a dabble of greatness. We're backlit pretty bad, huh? Yeah, not much we can do, guys, unless we want to. So wanna... hot. It's so hot in SF right now. It's, it's close to shade. Well, anyways, we really like this place. Hospitality on point. Everyone's super friendly. Gave super my dog cute. a treat as soon as we got here. Yeah, and they, did, they obviously didn't know like what we were doing or who we were doing. They were just nice to us just to be nice. So it should be, just be nice to everyone. And oh, hold on, she's got something. Lovely people, lovely copy. It's a must come to if you're in the area. Cute little neighborhood if you have a nice little chill weekend day or something. Or if you're, you know, if you live close by, you come check it out. The outdoor seating is super <laughs> comfortable. The coffee, food here looks the really good. Coffee is, 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 is great. It's, it's definitely a nine overall. Yeah, the food sounds really good. They were all sold out though by the time we came. Coffee is really, really great. This is a Lexi and Hunter approved spot. What's it called again? The Hedge? Hedge, Hedge Coffee. Hedge Coffee. It's open daily from 8 to 3. Lovely people. Come check it out here in San Francisco. What area is this? We just um, follow the GPS. <laughs> yeah. Direction. I'm directionally challenged. Challenged. So we got this special. Yeah, yeah. Coffee. I'll read this to you. That so Alex brewed for us. We're going to buy a bag of it. This Bruce particular Bruce. Ethiopia entered a couple of excellence. And about 1,400 contestants, it won seven. So it's way up there. Region is Sadamo, producer, Prasepa, Dukamo, Korma. I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. The process is natural, altitude 1,900 to 2,300. And then the flavors are berries, milk, chocolate, and lavender. Cheers. Net weight, 30 grams, what we sell at Pineapple Labs. Oh, I taste, um, the, I taste the berries. This is delicious. I also just want to say really quickly why it's important to know the background of where the coffee comes from because making sure you source the coffee ethically is really important and the region and the farmer, like the farmer really puts a lot of love and it's like a generational thing. A lot of work thing. and like a lot you of change love, their whole country, their family. So and like, it's important that, you know, when it does get to this process of the line or serving line when it comes here, it's not just the barista that makes it a great coffee. Yes, the barista finishes off it's also important, like it's kind of a team effort. Mm -hmm. It's a massive There's effort. There's no I in coffee. The coffee is a co <laughs> they all everyone says coffee family. It's a family and like every part of the chain. Um, Matters. Yeah. And, and being like super on top of your game. And doing it correctly it. and paying the right price for things. So, so that like stuff like this is super important. Not just like the flavor profile, but the region and the producer, the farmer, where it comes from. Like just learning about that is just it's, You should feel good it's about a connection. these great coffees that you're trying and, and going and testing them yeah. out and making that a part of your day because you're impacting a lot of people. Oh wow. Yeah yeah. Wow, this is amazing. Loving it. Yeah. I've so, had so much coffee today. Don't act like you don't like it. This is how Sundays are supposed to be. Mm hmm Yeah. So there you guys have it. Till next time. We'll see you in the chat. Bye. We're super caffeinated. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.